Peloton currently have two bikes, the Peloton Bike and then this, the Peloton Bike Plus. Probably the best known spin bikes in the entire world and both are absolutely brilliant. I've owned both bikes and this along with the entire Peloton ecosystem is probably the best decision I've made for my life's fitness journey. And that journey started way back in 1984 when I was 10 years old. But what would you like to see on the next iteration of the Peloton bike? The competition is stiffer than it's ever been. There's so many good bikes out there that Peloton are gonna have to really step it up, I think, for the next bike that they make. I put this question out there to my channel audience and here's what they come back with along with a couple of suggestions that I think they should do as well. So the Peloton Guide was codenamed Tiger and the Peloton Row or Rower is codenamed Caesar. Where is it? Where's the rower? So let's <laughs> give this bike, our fantasy bike, the codename Peloton Pro Plus Max. And if you're like me, you can stick a Pro Plus Max or all three on the end of anything. You don't even need to tell me what it is because I'll buy it. Okay, so number one is a larger screen. 24 inches is good. 27 inches is better. A 24 inch screen isn't small by any means, but let's have a look at this screen at 27 inches. 27 inches just feels so much more immersive than the Peloton screen. If you're thinking that this looks too big on here, I think it's important to point out the size of this bezel. It's absolutely massive. Oh, it's just doing the uh, auto adjust. It's absolutely massive on this machine. But if we look at the Peloton, they seem to be much better. This is a much thinner bezel. So when you measure a screen from here to here, this is already 26 inches. So if they could um, make the screen bigger, and perhaps reduce the size of this bezel even further, they could go from say 24 to 27 and not have much more uh, of a larger tablet overall. So to match the Nordic Track bike, 27 inches, I would like to see them go one better at 28, and as I've mentioned, really reduce that bezel down. No one likes a bezel, and uh, no one's ever released a song called I like big bezels. Next is the user interface. So this is from Jay Man. Thank you, Jay. And out of everything that I use in here, the interface on the Peloton bike is the best. It is really, really slick and really, really good. However, like Apple, it's um, very much a closed system. So 90% 90, 90 of the time, I just want to get on and do an instructor-led class, occasionally a scenic ride. But sometimes I might want to watch Netflix, watch Amazon Prime, and just spin my legs over. I can still get a good workout in a steady state, for instance, uh, steady state pedaling, but just switch off and do something else. Watch Westworld or the Orville or something like that. There's an insight into the type of programs I watch. And if anybody's watching Westworld still, What's, what's going on? I don't really understand it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think this closed system is what Peloton should stick with? Or do you think they should perhaps have a couple of apps, maybe Netflix or something on here, so that you can just switch off, put a program on and get a workout? Next is a good trade-in deal for existing customers. So this isn't particularly hardware related, but it's a really good point made by Rachel. and. I can relate to it because I don't know how much profit is in a Peloton bike, but I know that Peloton's main income is a, it's a subscription business, isn't it? So if you spend 2000 on a bike and you keep that bike for four years, you've actually given Peloton 6000 when you factor in the subscription over the cost of that lifetime, the lifetime of that product. So I think it would be good if Peloton rewarded, say, their loyal customers with some sort of um, program so that when the new bikes came out, they could easily get out of those ones, either 
um, by trading them in or getting a discount on a new product. Or maybe something like, for every year you've been with Peloton, you get 100 pounds off your next piece of hardware. So after three years, the Peloton rower comes out, probably in three years time, and um, <laughs> when that happens, you've got a 300 pound discount or $300 discount because of your loyalty as a customer up until that point. Next point is from Matt G. And he'd like to see adjustable screen height. And I would echo that along with uh, adjustment for forward and back. So you've got up and down adjustment, but no forward and back adjustment here. And if you look at the Nordic track, I'll just go to widescreen here. Now it's a bit distorted because I'm pinned against the wall <laughs> and it's in widescreen. But if you look, you can see it's higher, isn't it? So the Nordic track screen, although it's bigger, it's also higher. And when I'm riding this bike, I like the screen height better than when I'm on the Peloton. Unless you're right on the handlebars, it does feel a little bit low sometimes. The next thing I'd like to see is an inbuilt fan. Let me show you what I mean. Nordic track here, the Nordic track has an inbuilt fan. And this isn't a comparison video, I'm just showing you what I'd like to see. And then you can take it all the way here to auto. You can see the auto. And then when you're riding on this, I've stopped pedaling so it's stopped, but the faster I ride, you can see I'm just turning it over here, the fan comes back on. So the more effort you put in, the more effort comes out of that fan. It's genius. And I think on the Peloton bike here, there's enough real estate around here, isn't there? Just to have a really stylish fan that uses the auto follow feature to do the same thing. Just the more you're working, maybe based on your output here, the more you're working, the more it blows. And I do get emails from companies offering me fans to try for the Peloton bike quite often. And I always say no. However, I have got one coming. So it's taken me a little bit of research, but I think this fan is gonna be brilliant. So as soon as it arrives, it's coming all the way from America. I will um, do a review and let you know if it's as good as I think it's going to be. Lastly is a 4K screen. So this is a good screen, but it's 1080p. And the closer I get, the worse the picture gets, doesn't it? And when you're right on top of it, sometimes I just think, I wish it was slightly crisper than it is. And you compare that to Apple Fitness Plus. So here's Sherica, and I really hope that uh, Peloton Stealer, I like Apple, but look at that. That is in glorious 4K. The screen here is probably three times the size of the Peloton screen. But because it's 4K, it's just super, super crisp. So if you're watching Peloton, 4K please, before I'm too old to be able to tell the difference between the two. Well, I think we've covered everything, but what would you like to see? If you're going to help Peloton design the Peloton Bike Plus Pro Max 3000, now we've added a bit more to the name, what would you like to see on the bike? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, see you soon.